Hi everybody, welcome back to Taylor Tone. Do you have joined me for a 25 minute full body bar and pilates floor base workout. So this one is gonna be completely on the floor today and I would definitely advise that you have a mat, a soft surface, something to protect you from the floor. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified every single time I upload something brand new. Also, give me a follow on Instagram after you've done this workout. I am at Taylor Toad. It's gonna be a great one today. I've got some really fun stuff planned, so let's get straight into it. Okay, starting side on towards me. I want you to bring your hips on towards your heels. The toes are in line with your hips. You're gonna bring your left hand down towards the front, mirror me. You're gonna sweep the opposing arm up, reach all the way over the top of the head. Inhale in, exhale away. Bring your right arm down. You're gonna sweep the other arm all the way over the top. Little side stretch. And then bring the hand down. You're gonna bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips into a little flat back position. Inhale, scoop out through the abdominals, and then exhale, press the chest down, lift up through the eye line. Again, inhale, scoop. Exhale, press the chest down, lift the eye line up. You're gonna bring it into a neutral spine, hands under the shoulders, then step your hands wide in the shoulders. In a four point position, you're gonna box push up here. Inhale, exhale. Bowing your chest in between your fingertips and push all the way up and lift. So it might look a little bit unusual this one. I'm doing it a little bit different than normal. So I'm taking a box push up. Elbows bend to the side, the abs pull in. Press all the way away from the, oh, press up and away from the floor. We bend their elbows. Push all the way up and squeeze. Keep going. Bend through the elbows, chest down, squeeze up, press. Now, if this feels okay for you, you're gonna option here. Push to the top, come onto the bottom of your thighs. Push up, inhale, exhale, press down, lift all the way up. You wanna be trying to get your sternum in between your breastbone, just where your bra little bit, bit would be in the middle, sorry. Down in between your thumbs. Inhale, exhale, elbows go to the side, squeeze up, Push, four more, down towards the floor, up. For two, three more, go drop, go drop. We squeeze it up and lift. Two more, go down to the floor. We squeeze it up and lift. Now last one, hold down towards the floor. You're gonna stay down there, elbows to the side. Little lower, little lift, little drop, little push. You've got three to the pulse out. Two to the pulse out, now we go pulse. We pulse for seven, for six, child pose in five, four, Three, two, one. Toes together, open through the knees, push backwards into a child's pose. And you're gonna roll yourself all the way up through the spine, little shoulder roll. Bring the hands back underneath those shoulders. You're gonna squeeze your abdominals in, you're gonna tuck one toe under, you're gonna lift that other toe off the floor. Tuck under, come straight into a plank. Hands under the shoulders, eye line just in line with your fingertips and the edge of your fingertips. Eye line comes in between your hands. You're gonna squeeze your belly button in. Your heels are over the top of the balls of the feet. Straight line, crown of the head forward like someone's got a piece of string and they're pulling it through your body. Inhale, exhale, lower your left forearm down. You're gonna go there, lower your right forearm down. Now keep tucking under through the hips. Keep rolling your shoulders backwards and down away from your ears. Inhale, exhale. You've got two train tracks with your forearms. I know you're burning. I know you're like, Gabby, be quiet. <laughs> I'm burning, moving something different. But we have an isometric hold here. Eye line between your wrists. You're gonna inhale, you're gonna exhale. I want you to rotate right fingertips left elbow. You're gonna roll to me and then lower your underneath shin down towards the floor. Reach the top hand to the sky. You're gonna inhale, squeeze elbow to knee. You're gonna exhale, reach and lengthen. Inhale, elbow to knee. We exhale, reach and lengthen. Now option here, modified option. Drop the toe down to the floor. If you want it harder, you want to keep the toe elevated away. Now keep that chest square towards me on your device. Keep your hips square to me. Your elbow stacked underneath your shoulder and you are driving your waist away from the floor. We push and press and lengthen. You've got two more here. We push all the way out. One more. We squeeze. We push length and we hold there. 
you're gonna lift that leg one inch high up towards the sky. Add a little tiny lift with that leg. Lift, you've got eight here, seven, go six, you're gonna go plank on the other side. In three, in two, one, lower down. Sweep those feet round to the other side. Bring your hands under your shoulders, number 11. Elbows under the shoulders. And then tuck one toe under, draw the waistline in, tuck the other toe under. Now this side, you're gonna add a little combination. So the left knee goes tap, tap, then lift. Right knee, tap, tap, then lift. Now both knees tap, tap, lift. Left knee for two, down to the floor. Right knee for two, down to the floor. Now both those knees and lift. Go tap, tap, lift. You've got this. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth and lift. We tap, tap, lift. Double knee and then hold in your plank. Stay there. Rotate left fingers to right elbow. You're going to roll around. You're going to lower your underneath thigh down and you're going to sweep above the head with the arm. We squeeze it in for two. We squeeze, exhale. Reach, we squeeze, inhale. We squeeze, exhale. Keep going, now really use the breath. Remember, hips are stacked, chest is square to me, elbow underneath the shoulder. And you are really driving your waistline away from the ground. So you're working obliques here, side of waist, you're working your abductor muscles and you're strengthening up your body. Last one now, you're gonna hold it. You're gonna reach, add a little tiny lift with that toe. For seven, for six, back to a forearm plank in four, in three, forearms in two, in one. Now 20 second hold. Get those knees lifted, come into a forearm plank if you want the modified version. Bottom of those thighs go down to the floor. Roll the shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze your belly button in. You have a hold here. Give me your best plank. Four, five, four, 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 three, four, two, one. Well done. Lift up into straight arms. You're gonna straight away roll onto your butt. And then you're gonna bring your hands out to the side of your body. You're gonna incline backwards, lengthen both the legs, point through the toe. You're gonna lift your left leg away. You're gonna tap to the side of your mat and then squeeze back through center. Tap, lift, tap, lift. So you're going out to the side of your mat with your toe. Your heart is open, your hands are out to the side of your body and this is your thigh section. We go lift, lower, five more. Modification, take it a little bit slower. Four more. You've got three more out to the side. You've got two, drop. Last one, now you're gonna lift and hold. If you want the modified option, you can drop down to the forearm. Advance to the stay up here. Modified option is here on the forearm. Have a little sunbathe. You're gonna flex your foot, you're gonna open through the heel. If you're in the advanced option, lift up onto those arms. You're gonna add a little tiny bend through the knee and press the heel away. We go a little push, little press, little press, little press. Got tight hip flexors. You can always turn the toe towards the sky. Advanced version to target inner thighs, outer thighs and quads. Turn out through the leg. Little press, little press. Open your heart to the sky. Go push, go press. We have seven, six. We hold in five, in four. You're gonna hold in three, two now. Hold, lengthen the knee. Remember modification here, turn it up. Harder, turn it out. We go, little lift, little lift, little lift. Inhale, I'm shaking all over the show. We go for a lift and lift your out in. 10 more, nine more, you've got eight more pulses. Seven, six, you've got five, lift it, four, higher, three, two, one. Woo. Give it a little shake off, relax those legs. Reset yourself, roll the wrists out. Open through the heart, be proud of your workout. Let's go, right toe up to the sky. Now take it slower, out to the side for two, go lift and lift. We take it out for two, we squeeze it up and lift. Now really lengthen through the leg, lengthen through your knee joint, point through that toe, go lift and lift. I remember be proud of your workout, draw those abdominals in, open through the heart, lower to the side. We squeeze up, lift and lengthen, take it out to the side, keep going, lift and lengthen. Now you want to think less about height, more about length during this exercise. So if you can get it high with the burnout, well done. If you're feeling it hard to find the burnout, make sure your knee joint is long and lengthened. Make sure you're finding length and then lifting. 
drop. You've got three more here. Lift, go lower to the floor. Two more, go lift and lift. We take it out to the side of your mat. Now, last one, you're gonna lift, lengthen and hold. You're gonna flex the foot. Remember, if you can really feel it gripping here in the hip flexor, turn the toe up to the sky. So if you're with me in the advanced mode, keep that leg turned out. Add a little tiny push away. Keep pressing. Now really kick that heel away. Someone you really don't like right now in your life, kick them away with your heel and make an everlasting kick. It never ends. We go for a push and press. Go kick them away, go kick, keep going. Turn out through the leg. Can you get that leg one inch higher up towards the sky? Go push and press. We hold in five, in four. We hold in three, in two. Now hold that, lengthen through the knee. Add a little tiny lift and lift. Inner sole, inner part of the foot. Drive to the sky, lengthen through that knee. You are out in 10, in nine, in eight. You're gonna go straight into your seat section here. In Five, well done, go four, keep pushing. Three, two, one. Oh my god, gosh, I was shaking so much then. Okay, mirror me, you're gonna flip your feet straight away round to the side of your body. So I want you to bring your right foot forward, seated pretzel, this is called in bar and Pilates, seated pretzel. So your front leg is at a 90 degree angle, knee in front of the hip, toe in line with the knee. This back knee is in line with your hip and the hip is rolled forwards. So forwards, forwards. The hands go to the side of your thigh here, or modification, take it down onto the forearms. Press in towards the hands. You're gonna try to lift this back leg, try to lower back down again. So this is about the side of the seat, the side of the butt. We lift the leg up, we take it back down to the floor. I'm gonna do an impression here of what you shouldn't be doing. So I don't want you to be doing this where you've got the hip open. I want you to make sure you've got your shoulders towards me. You've got this top hip bone rolled down towards the floor. So imagine if you had a camera on your hip bone right now, on that left hip bone, would it be able to see your right knee? That's what I want it to be seeing. So I want the hip rolled down. That way you'll get deeper in towards the outside of the seat. Toe and knee in alignment. If anything, the toe is slightly higher, just slightly higher than the knee drop back down. Remember, if you want the modified option, drop down towards that forearm. We lift up, lengthen, we lower back to the floor. We go a little up and lengthen, we go down to the floor. Two more, lift up, lengthen. Take it back down, one more. We go lift up, lengthen, now stay there. You're gonna squeeze your knee one inch further back. You're gonna make sure you're driving into your glute where your glute means your hamstring, toe is higher than the knee. Now you're gonna option add the arm to a fifth and lift, and lift, and lift. Is that hip roll towards me? You should feel it in the side, side of your butt. We lift, we lift, four, five, four, four. You're out in three, two, one. You're gonna roll straight on towards your front. I want you to bring, I'm just gonna readjust my mic. I want you to bring your arms out into a V, legs in towards a V. <coughs> Sorry, you're gonna inhale. Exhale, lift the legs. <coughs> Inhale, exhale, lift the upper body and lower back down towards the floor. Inhale, exhale, lift the legs, lower to the floor. Inhale, exhale, lift the upper body down towards the floor. Just nearly died on YouTube. Inhale, exhale, lift the legs and lower down towards the floor. Inhale, exhale, lift the upper body and lower back down. Keep your eye line to the floor. Inhale, exhale, lift the legs. Turn out through those legs, inhale, exhale. Now lift the upper body. Now you're gonna combine both. Keep the eye lines to the floor. Inhale, exhale, find length. And then lift up and away from the floor and back down again. Inhale, exhale. We lift, lengthen, press as if you're skydiving in that X position. Inhale, exhale. You're gonna lift all the way up and drop back down. This last one, you're gonna hold it. Inhale, exhale. Now lift away from the ground. I want you to squeeze the elbows behind yourself. Your legs are floated away from the ground. Your knees are lengthened. Your toes are pointed. Your elbows are off. 
bring the eye line down. Crown of the head is forward. You're going to take little squeezes back with your elbows, little hug of those elbows. So it's like you've got a ball behind your elbows and you're squeezing out all of the air. Squeeze, squeeze. Keep the legs lifted. Keep the shoulders rolled back and down away from your ears. You're going to go into your other side of that seated pretzel. In just 10, in nine, let's squeeze it harder. Seven, go six, other side of seated pretzel in five, in four, in three, in two, one. Well done, lift yourself up. And then you're gonna go other side. So now I want you to bring your right knee forwards. So your left leg goes backwards this time. So you've got a 90 degree angle. Front knee in front of your hip. Back knee in line with your back hip. Hands roll forwards. Hip roll forwards. Lift the leg off. Low back down again. When you go, lift, lift, go down and down. So again, double check. Is your top hip pointing down as if it's drawing towards your knee? You want to make sure I can see right now this hip bone. Can I see it? I want to be able to see it. And you want your front hand in front of the body. Modified option, drop down towards the forearm. Lift, lower back down to the floor. Inhale, exhale. We lift up. We lower back down. This is great for sculpting the side of your butt, your seat. And it's great as well for really working that lumbar spine area. That quadratus lumborum. It's also great for your posterior chain muscles, great for those abductor muscles. We squeeze up. Back knee in line with your back hip. You should feel it in the side of the butt. We squeeze up, lift, lengthen. We bring it back down. We press it up and lift. We bring it back down. So this is a staple bar move, Pilates move, the seated pretzel drop back down. Two more. We lift up, lengthen. We take it back down. Now last one, you're gonna hold it. Hold it up there. Knee is down, toe is high. Hip is rolled to me. Option for that hand to go into a fifth position. Push through the supporting arm. Draw the waist away from the floor. Maybe get your arm, pull your waist up and away. You're gonna add a little tiny lift. Lift your final part. Take your eye line down towards your knee. Is your knee in line with the hip or push further backwards? Go lift and lift. You are out in five, four, three, two, one. Well done. You're going to roll all the way through the center. Keep the feet hip distance apart. And then you're going to come into a C curve. So you're going to sit nice and tall on your sit bones. Draw your heels in. You're going to reach the hands forwards. Inhale at the top. Exhale, press your lumbar spine to the floor. Press all the way down into a C curve position. Take a slight tuck of your chin. Lift up. Then you're going to draw the eye line forwards all the way up. We go for A. Press, lower. Two, three. We lift it up. Two, three, four. We take it down. Three, two, one. We lift it up. Three, two, one. We take it down. Three, two, one. Lift it up. Three, two, one. One more. Down. Three, two, one. We lift it up. Two, three. Well, you're going to take it all the way down. You're going to hold down here. So I want you to tuck under through the tailbone. You are rotating your hip bones in towards your belly button. I can't stress that enough. Tuck under. Pull your belly button down towards your mat. You want a C curve through the spine. You want your eye lines, for, eye lines forwards. You want to bring those hands forward. Now option here. Touch the knees together. Turn out through those legs. You'll feel it deep in towards the outside of those thighs, but it'll ease off on those hip flexors. Tuck under. Can you drop deeper? If you want it harder, press the lumbar spine further down to the floor. Keep those knees touching. Reach those hands out in front of yourself. You're going to add a little tiny bend. Reach, reach, reach through those arms. Little reach, little reach. Option here, do you want it harder? Do you want to work a little bit deeper? Your class is nearly over. You're going to bring one toe together. You're going to bring your other toe together. Can you drop deeper? Can you bring those toes in tighter? Can you get your arms one inch further up towards the sky? We go reach, 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 reach. You're out in 10. Nine, down towards the floor in seven, six, lower down in five, four, three, 
two, one, well done. Lower down towards the ground, stack your feet in line with your hips, interlace the fingertips, bring the hands behind the head. Support the lower head, bring your elbows into your peripheral vision throughout this work, throughout this set, keep the elbows stabilized there. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest, lift up, squeeze, back down for two. Inhale, exhale, squeeze chin to chest, lift up, hold. Imagine you've got a piece of fruit here in between your chin and your chest. Keep the fruit there, but don't squish it. So maybe you've got a peach you want to eat after class, so you don't want to bruise your peach. You want to keep it nice and soft. Keep the elbows in your peripheral vision and let your head really fall in towards your hands. Inhale. Exhale, we squeeze up and lift. We take it down to the floor. Now keep going. The elbows stay in the side of your eye line. And I want you to really relax the head into your hands. So your superficial abdominals, that top layer of abs, is doing all of the work. Your head, your neck, your shoulders, they aren't really doing much. It's the top layer of abs taking the heat here. We lift, we press, we take it down. Now this time you're gonna hold up there. You're gonna lift up, hold, keep the elbows where they are, head, neck, shoulders away from the floor. Add a little tiny raise up squeeze. Little lift up, hold. Little lift up, hold. So you're using those upper abs, lift up, squeeze. We go a little up and squeeze, get away from the floor. Lift up, hold. Keep the elbows nice and still, the abs do the work. Little lift up, hold, now faster. We lift, we lift for eight. Four, seven, four, six, four, five. You're out in four, three, two, one. Oh. That was just like such a fast paced workout. I don't really know what happened for the past 20 minutes, but we're gonna stretch. Turn the palms up, relax the body down towards the ground. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Reach the fingertips up towards the sky. You're gonna roll through the wrist. Inhale and exhale. Now relax the feet down towards the ground. Give your, your ankles a little roll out here too. Bring the hands back down towards the floor. Step your right foot into the center line of the body. Bring your left foot, hook it over the top. Drive the knee to the outside. If you have the flexibility and mobility, push into the palms, ground your lower spine. Lift the knee away from the floor. Drive this leg backwards, the left leg backwards, and you should feel the stretch down the outside of the seat into those abductor muscles. Lower the foot down, switch it up, right foot comes on top, draw the knee to the outside, press down into the palms, lift up and away, and you should feel the stretch. It feels really great after that tough seat set. And then pull both the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little rock side to side, left to right. You're gonna rock back, you're gonna rock up forwards. Push back onto your sit bones. Lengthen the back of the knees in towards your mat. Reach the hands to the sky. Inhale as you exhale. You're gonna fold and hold. Fold and hold. <laughs> you're gonna let the chest, I find myself funny. <laughs> you're gonna let the chest fall down and towards your thighs. Let the nose try and push in between your shins and hold there with an inhale, with an exhale. Roll all the way up, you're gonna to face towards me, send the soles of the feet together. Push the hips up towards your heels, bring the hands on towards your feet and drive the outside of the thighs down towards the floor. And then from here, try and keep the knees where they are and extend both the feet out and towards a wide V, v, v position. You're gonna grow nice and tall off the hips. You're gonna open the chest all the way around towards your right leg. Inhale, exhale, draw the hands round the outside of the foot. And you're gonna stay down here. You should feel the stretch into the inner thigh. And then lift all the way up. Keep your sit bones ground on the floor. Open your chest towards the left leg. Hands go round the outside of the foot. Inhale, as you exhale, try and keep the spine straight and fold over the top of that leg. And then from here, you're gonna go ahead, cross both the legs over. I want you to bring your left hand behind the head. Use the right arm to gently push that arm down the center of the back. Breathe in, exhale. 
and then other side. Left arm pushes the right arm down the center line of the back. Inhale and exhale. Drop the hands down and towards your thighs. Give yourself a little shoulder roll round, shoulder roll round. Bring the hands in front. Back stretch, chin to chest, blow up a big balloon. Drive the chin down. Drop the hands down. Open through the chest. Now turn the palms up towards the ceiling. Bring your thumb and your finger together for that yoga intention. Close the eyes, sit nice and tall off your sit bones. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And massive well done in your workout with me today. Hope you loved that one. Make sure you give me a massive thumbs up on this. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how much you loved it. Maybe go and team this with another workout to get a full hour workout today. And hit subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.